Welcome to our presentation on the 10 Telltale Signs of Chronic Kidney Disease, or CKD. Feeling tired, swollen, or waking up to pee more at night? Your kidneys might be sending you a warning. Chronic kidney disease can sneak up on you without obvious signs until it's too late. But your body often gives you clues that your kidneys are struggling. From a puffy face and swollen ankles to frequent trips to the bathroom and brain fog, these signs are easy to overlook but crucial to catch early. In this video, we'll uncover 10 telltale signs your kidneys may be in trouble, so you can take action before it's too late. Don't ignore what your body is trying to tell you. Before diving into symptoms, let's briefly review what causes CKD. The causes of chronic kidney disease, CKD, often vary by age. In younger individuals, CKD is more commonly due to congenital or hereditary conditions, such as polycystic kidney disease, Allport syndrome, or structural abnormalities like obstructive uropathy. Glomerulonephritis and autoimmune diseases like lupus nephritis are also more frequent in this age group. In middle-aged and older adults, CKD is predominantly caused by long-standing systemic conditions such as diabetes mellitus and hypertension, which damage the glomeruli and blood vessels over time. Additionally, age-related decline in kidney function, vascular disease, exposure to nephrotoxic medications like NSAIDs, and obstructive uropathy from enlarged prostate become increasingly important contributors in the elderly population. CKD progresses through five stages, from normal kidney function to complete kidney failure. One of the challenges in diagnosing CKD is that symptoms typically don't appear until kidney function is significantly impaired, often not until stage 3 or beyond. This is why routine screening is so important for at-risk individuals. The signs we'll discuss today usually surface when the kidneys have already lost substantial filtering capacity, making early detection through lab tests critical. Next, we will look at 10 telltale signs and why they occur. Fatigue and weakness are common and multifactorial symptoms in chronic kidney disease, often resulting from anemia, uremia, and disturbances in electrolyte balance. Anemia in CKD is primarily due to decreased erythropoietin production by the failing kidneys, leading to reduced red blood cell synthesis and impaired oxygen delivery to tissues. Uremia, the accumulation of nitrogenous waste products, further contributes to neuromuscular dysfunction and malaise. Additionally, imbalances in electrolytes such as potassium, calcium, and bicarbonate can disrupt normal muscle and nerve function. Swelling, or edema, is a common feature of chronic kidney disease and results from the kidney's reduced ability to remove excess salt and water from the body. As kidney function declines, fluid begins to accumulate, especially in the legs, feet, and around the eyes. Additionally, the loss of protein in the urine lowers the protein level in the blood, which can cause fluid to leak out of blood vessels into surrounding tissues. In some cases, heart dysfunction may also contribute to the buildup of fluid. Urinary frequency and nocturia in CKD are primarily due to the kidney's reduced ability to concentrate urine as tubular function deteriorates. This leads to the production of larger volumes of dilute urine, particularly at night when fluid shifts from the legs to the bloodstream during recumbency, increasing renal perfusion and urine output. Disruption of the normal circadian rhythm of antidiuretic hormone secretion in CKD further contributes to nocturnal polyuria. Additionally, osmotic diuresis from retained uremic salutes draws more water into the urine, compounding the symptoms. These changes often occur even in the early stages of CKD and may precede other overt signs. Foamy or frothy urine is often a visible sign of proteinuria, where excess protein, especially albumin, is excreted in the urine due to damage to the glomerular filtration barrier. This protein lowers the surface tension of urine, causing persistent bubbles or foam when voided. In chronic kidney disease, glomerular injury compromises the selective permeability of the kidney's filtering units, allowing proteins to leak into the urine. While transient foaming can occur from dehydration or a forceful urine stream, 
Persistent foamy urine typically suggests underlying kidney dysfunction and warrants medical evaluation for conditions such as glomerulonephritis, diabetic nephropathy, or nephrotic syndrome. Hypertension is both a cause and a consequence of CKD. Diseased kidneys activate the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, increasing vascular resistance and blood volume. Other contributing factors include sodium and fluid retention, increased sympathetic nervous system activity, and vascular changes such as arterial stiffness and endothelial dysfunction. As CKD progresses, blood pressure becomes more difficult to control. In fact, new onset or treatment-resistant hypertension in adults should always prompt evaluation of renal function. Managing blood pressure is vital to slow CKD progression and protect kidney function. Nausea, vomiting, poor appetite, and a metallic taste in chronic kidney disease primarily result from the accumulation of uremic toxins that irritate the gastrointestinal tract and disrupt normal digestive function. These toxins, along with electrolyte imbalances, hormonal disruption, and metabolic acidosis, can slow gastric emptying, leading to early satiety, nausea, and vomiting. Additionally, altered taste sensation, including a metallic or bitter taste, is common due to changes in saliva composition and nerve function. Together, these factors contribute to decreased oral intake and malnutrition, which are frequent complications in advanced CKD. Muscle cramps, especially at night, are commonly reported in CKD. These can result from electrolyte imbalances such as low calcium or magnesium, high phosphate, or sodium shifts. They may also relate to poor circulation or uremic toxins affecting neuromuscular function and peripheral neuropathy. Itchy skin, or pruritus, in CKD is due to uremic toxins, elevated phosphate levels, hyperparathyroidism, and inflammation. These conditions irritate nerves and skin, causing persistent itching. Shortness of breath in CKD is caused by fluid retention in the lungs, also known as pulmonary edema, from volume overload or heart failure. Other contributing factors include anemia and metabolic acidosis. These factors impair oxygen delivery and respiratory function. Impaired concentration or brain fog in chronic kidney disease, is largely attributed to the accumulation of uremic toxins that affect brain function along with chronic inflammation and oxidative stress. These metabolic disturbances can disrupt neurotransmitter balance and impair neuronal communication, leading to difficulties with memory, attention, and mental clarity. Additionally, anemia common in CKD reduces oxygen delivery to the brain, further contributing to cognitive dysfunction. Sleep disturbances and electrolyte imbalances often seen in CKD also exacerbate these neurological symptoms. If you notice signs of CKD, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. If you're feeling tired, noticing foamy urine, or experiencing swelling, it's time to see your doctor. These could be signs of chronic kidney disease or CKD. The evaluation starts with a thorough history and physical exam, focusing on risk factors like hypertension and diabetes. Your doctor will order blood tests to check kidney function through serum creatinine and estimate your glomerular filtration rate, EGFR, as well as urine tests to detect protein or blood. A urine albumin to creatinine is often used to assess early kidney damage. Additional tests may include blood counts, electrolytes, and markers of mineral and bone metabolism to detect complications. Imaging studies like renal ultrasound may evaluate kidney size and structure. In some cases, a kidney biopsy might be necessary to find the cause of CKD. Thank you for joining our presentation. Stay tuned for our next session on the management of chronic kidney disease. Your engagement is vital in spreading awareness and improving patient care. Please like, comment, and share this video.